the second we met Tammy, uh, it reminded she reminded us so much of Shay, and yeah, in her in her strength, in her uh, in her free spirit, in her willingness to lead a um, a different uh, kind of life that follows her own sort of horizon and her own path. Uh, you know, that reminded us a lot of Shailene. And so when we finished, uh, as soon as we finished writing the script, she was the first person we actually sent it to. Finding a director who has all of the skills and ability and experience to tell both an incredibly sweeping love story, but also an intimate, uh, visceral survival story. That takes place on the sea, primarily, which is the hardest, one of the hardest elements you could possibly, one of the biggest filmmaking challenges is to shoot a movie uh, on the sea. And so we needed a filmmaker who not only uh, was up for that challenge, but in Balt, we were fortunate and lucky enough to find somebody who was excited by it, who uh, has filmed on the sea before, his amazing Icelandic film, The Deep, uh, who has filmed clearly survival stories and the elements to great uh, success with Everest, uh, and who we came to discover uh, when he first read the script and responded, was a... Uh, almost Olympic sailor in his native country of Iceland back in, in his 20s. And so to bring that level of expertise and that experience, that excitement, that energy that Bolt has constantly uh, to the film was infectious. And when we first met him, he got the story. He was up for the challenge more than any other filmmaker who responded. And so we were just, uh, we feel blessed that he wanted to do this movie and that he was clearly the right, the right. Well, it was a very director. narrow target and Balt has essentially like hit right at the bullseye of, we couldn't have found a, a director who was more perfectly tailor-made to bring this story to life. We were basically uh, like four or five weeks on the water for 12 to 14 hours a day in, in you know, up to 30 knots, you know, and, and I loved it. I think Shailene has done a marvelous uh, job and, and, and uh, so has Sam. And, and I think, I think you're pretty heartless if you don't connect with Tammy, you know, I think, and, you know, on the relationship. They, they hit it off. I think the, the chemistry is wonderful, you know. And, and, and partly that's always a luck thing, you know, do, do people, actors connect or not? Uh, of course, it, it, the, the, the better environment you create for them to be able to do that, the more likely. But in the end, you, you need the actors to, to, to kind of to, to hit it off together, and, and they certainly did. Most of the time, it's about men, you know, struggling with nature or saving uh, each other on boats and stuff like that. And, and I've done those films, and, and I think it's... it's it's great to, 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 to see it through a female perspective, it, you know, and I think that's very interesting, and that's why it was also important for me to get the support of, of the actress. There's something about survival stories that I think, in a way, we can all connect with, because we are all, we are all creatures of, of Mother Earth, and we are, we are all trying to walk through it in some way, and I think to see it to the extreme it is, is something that, that can be... Uh, quite satisfactory. Why do people sail around the world? Why do people climb mountains? It's hard to explain it. It, ex ex it exists, exists inside of us, the need to be a part of nature, even though we kind of moved a bit away from it to the cities and to the skyscrapers. I think even more so when we, we place ourselves in that kind of, you know, create the kind of life around it, we feel more need of connection to nature. And, and I think that's why survival stories, in some ways, often have an extreme, people in extreme uh, environment, surroundings. It, it both is, we kind of fantasize about it, you know, what would we ourselves do in that kind of situation? And I also think the need of, of, of being in that situation. I hope people realize that they have the ability to do more than they know they can. Um, there's so many times in life you want to give up, but I think I think there's a that, you know there's there's always a reason to keep going. Um, and I think this film shines a light on that. He uh, was in his early 30s and a man who had built his own boat called the Mayaluga uh, in South Africa, where he he, he worked in a, a shipyard for 
um, several years, and he, yeah, he was a, an avid sailor, and he sailed around the world. Very charming, very, uh, like, very, very, he's a perfectionist in, in the way that his, which is why he needed to kind of build his own boat. Everything had to be the way that he wanted it to be. I really had a flavour for who he is, and I got, had an essence of, you know, who this man is. Um, but one thing that's important to me, and I, I think it would always be important to me if I ever portrayed real people, and, you know, again, is, is that I never want to be doing an impression of, I want to be me, you know, or I'm an actor, I, I will never be that person. So I, I just, I, I'd like to kind of have elements of him seep through me but without being him she's also just an incredible actress I, I think she was one of the main reasons that I knew that I had to be a part of this job like having read the script knowing what what was in store for whoever was going to be playing that part especially but knowing that I'd have to work across from someone who and closely I, I, I they had to be cool <laughs> Because um, I, I couldn't bear being stuck on a boat with someone who wasn't. To be able to go to work and actually look forward to going to work and seeing the people who you're, you're working with is, is apparently rare, but I, I've been very lucky. But this, this job especially, I think also due to the fact that we've been in beautiful locations and incredible settings on boats and yachts jumping off, diving off into the ocean. It's been horrible. Uh, but the fact that I get to do that and share that with someone who I genuinely care about is, is amazing. Uh, and I feel very, very fortunate. It doesn't feel like work, and so much of it hasn't felt like work, and that is down to Shay. I think, I think she, she's made it a very, very comfortable, very, very welcoming, very warm and, and, and fun experience. As soon as I read the script, I knew there was no way that I could not do this film. There was no way that I could pass the let the opportunity to portray this character and to express the love that these two people shared um, in a way that was so uniquely formatted and written. The way that they had written the script was so different compared to how most films are formulated that it, it sort of was a dream come true in every sense of, every sense of the way. Adrift is a story of survival at sea against all odds after a couple sails into a class five hurricane, one of the most catastrophic hurricanes in recorded history, um, and their boat seems to capsize. They are forced to find inner strength and inner will to survive. He inspired me so deeply to be a better actor, think of things from different angles, open my eyes to different ways of portraying a, a character within a certain scenario. Um, and all the while did it with such a humble nature and such a lightness. Um, I, I learned so much from him. The first time we met, it was just sort of a moment of, of deep awe and, and we had talked so much before that that I felt in a way that I knew her already, but to actually hug her and look in her eyes and hold her hands and uh, receive the essence, the physical essence of her that I had been missing in all of those months was a moment that I will never forget. There's so many unknowns when filming um, that closely with nature. But because Balt himself was a professional sailor, he used to be a competitive sailor in, in Iceland, and because he's built this reputation of working with the elements in such a pure way, uh, he really was given the trust by our studio SDX and <clears throat> producers to take this to the open water. This movie draws you in. It's almost as if when you're watching it, you can smell the ocean yourself. You can feel the salt water in your hair because that's what that's what happens when you capture life in a way that's truthful and when you capture life in a way that's real versus fabricated. And, and they both have their pros and they both have their cons, but this movie takes you on a very visceral experience. This is the journey that I feel as an audience member you feel in a way that you are on because the power of the ocean 
elicits that from you as a viewer. First met Baltazar Skyping, uh, and then met him in Suva when we got here in Fiji. And he has been so accommodating and so gracious, uh, great director, and I'm just so happy he's in charge. He's, you know, filming on the water is so tough, and he is just, he is the guy for that. Quite frankly, when the Kendalls and I were putting this uh, together and talking about screenplays and all, we really hoped that Shailene would be the one to raise her hand to do this. And uh, we were putting it out there to the universe. And uh, so it was so wonderful when she, uh, when she was so excited. She first emailed me and said she was so excited to be a part of the project. The boat looks just like what we uh, what what happened to the boat? I mean, it it looks just like the Hazana, and the mast ripped out. I mean, and the one mast just just twisted and yanked out. I mean, it's just it's exactly how it looked. It's uncanny how much Sam looks like Richard, for one thing, and um, I just love Sam. He's just perfect for the part. And he, he was just, we had, the other day we were all together and he had us all laughing. And I just, I just looked at him and went, you just remind me so much of Richard because everybody's drawn to him. He's just got this charismatic way about him. And, and it was just so perfect because I think the universe sent us Sam to play Richard. I mean, he really is perfect.